Hi, it's Daryl. I'm here at the Habitat Fine Art Glass Gallery in Birmingham, Michigan. Located on a side street just off the downtown area in a little industrial commercial zone, you'll find this art gallery filled with beautiful things, artistic expressions, color, shapes, just extraordinary works of art made out of glass. Look at that. Some are expensive, some are lower priced. All are the result of love and craftsmanship and artistic effort by the people who made them. And I just love coming here to look. This is like a southeastern Michigan treasure as far as I'm concerned. The owners and operators here seem to be very nice people. They answered any questions I had, let me walk around and film anything I wanted. Look at how beautiful that figurine there is. And part of the story of this is the art itself. The energy, emotional thought, uh, skills that it takes to make some of these pieces is just beyond belief. I know a lot of people don't think much about art. They think it's kind of silly and overrated and for the cultural elite. But honestly, art's for everyone. Art is in your everyday life, even if you don't see it and think of it that way. Art makes you feel different. This one here, just, I love this one. This is my favorite piece in the whole gallery, and I don't even know why. But, you know, to see a piece of artwork and have it speak to you personally and say, oh, yes, I get this. This is how I see this. And this makes me feel a certain way or think of something different or unusual that I wouldn't have normally thought of. And, you know, to me, that's what the artistic process is really all about. It's like when I go to the DIA and look at all the beautiful paintings and artwork there, the one particular thing there that always speaks to me are the Diego Rivera murals. And there's just something about those that I really, really like and enjoy. I oh, look at this. This is beautiful here. The emperor, I guess we'd say, along with a little matching monkey and a bunny. The bunny is just totally adorable. Look at the bunny. If I was buying art for a commercial business, that would be some piece I might actually pick. Um, you know, I'm encouraging you to come out here and visit the Habitat Art Gallery. Friendly people. Easy parking, nice location, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Spend a half hour, an hour walking around here, see the sights, see the displays. They change frequently. They have different artists on their feature list every month or two. They have actual seminars, visitations sometimes, and live talks by the artists. Like I say, it's a really wonderful resource here in the community, and I was happy to spend an afternoon browsing around here on a cold winter day. It just lifted my spirits and made me feel happy to see all these beautiful things. Lifelike, surrealistic, impressionistic, modernist, cubist. It's just every kind of art style imaginable represented here for your perusal. And this one's one of my favorites here too. Just so creative, the way they designed that and made it work. As you look through this, if you manage to look this far, why don't you make a note of what particular piece you found interesting and the timestamp for that piece and talk about it in the comments down below. I'll comment back and we can discuss any particular piece that you thought was especially interesting to you and fit your tastes. I told you what two of mine were, or like probably three of mine were the bunny, the blue vase, and the three-dimensional stylized head. Oh, I think we're coming up on the most expensive piece in here right now. This one's not it, but next one. That one's expensive, but this one, this globe is $100,000. And I'm sure it'll be worth it to someone because it's it's fascinating. I could I could spend a lot of time looking at that, trying to figure out different meanings behind it. But look at that. It's called Mega Planet. Well, I like these big bowls, like clamshells, like that. Those are pretty cool. 
Blue is one of my favorite colors in glasswork too. There's some shows on Netflix and on YouTube you can watch to see how these things are made. Um, watching the creative process is quite fascinating as well. These are miniatures. There's a whole display of these miniature dioramas that I just was fascinated by. I didn't know this was a thing. But the attention to detail, the intricate, tiny glasswork is absolutely amazing. This blows me away how much time someone put in to create this. So tell me what you think. Share this video with your friends who like artistic things or who like glasswork. And leave a comment below. It really helps grow my channel. And I appreciate your ongoing support. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.